Hey, what's up, Musers? This is John at muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code. And in this video tutorial, I will be showcasing the new Galaxy Effect widget found at MuseForYouShop.com. With this effect, you can add an interactive full screen background to your Adobe Muse website that rotates as you hover your mouse over it. The effect is comprised of small stars or dots that give it a, a galaxy or universe effect. You can change the colors of the background and the stars. I have an example here. So if I go to File, Preview Page in Browser, we see that we have these stars in the background and we have this uh, kind of galaxy looking background here. And if you leave your mouse, the, uh, the stars just kind of move in the background and then you hover your mouse over it and the stars move. Okay, very good. And I have an, another example here. I'll go to File, uh, Preview Page in Browser. Here it is without the uh, the SVG draw. The first one had the SVG draw here, where you where it draws um, the galaxy effect. This one is just showcasing the the galaxy effect there. So we can see it's a lot of fun. It can really add a lot of interactivity to your website. And I have a, another example here. So I'll go to File Preview Page in Browser. And here we kind of have it inverted. The the stars or dots are black, and the background is white. So you can have any color for the, the stars or dots and any color for the background. Very good. And one more example here. I'll go to File, Preview Page, and Browser. And here it's just uh, the background without the SVG draw. Yeah, this first one, again, had the SVG draw here, and it drew the galaxy, galaxy effect text. Very good. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to access this widget and how to use it. So let's begin. <music> So to access this widget, you simply click on museforyoushop.com and then you, you click on shop now and you can get all widgets or any new widgets, widgets that I come out with for $39 a year. You can subscribe here or you can subscribe with PayPal or you can scroll down here to the galaxy effect and click on galaxy effect and then you can click on add to cart or you can subscribe for $39 a year and get access to all widgets and any new widgets uh, that I come out with. Very good. So that's how you access this widget. And once you download the widget, you'll get a zip file. And then you simply unzip the zip file and double click on the .mulip file to install the widget. So I'm going to go ahead into my Adobe Muse website. I have a blank page here. And to access the widget, I go to my library panel. If you don't see your library panel, you can just go to window and click on library. And that'll bring the library panel up. Or if you have it in your panel here, you can just click on library there. So I'm just going to scroll down here to the Galaxy Effect widget. I have it here. So I simply click on the drop down arrow uh, next to this folder and then I have access to the muse for You Galaxy Effect widget. So I'll click, hold and drag and place onto my Adobe Muse website. And all I have to do to make this widget work effectively is bring it to the top of the browser and then make it 100% width by clicking the 100% width button right over here. Very good. And then I want to pin it to the top so we don't have any scrolling. And now I'll go to File, Preview Page, and Browser. And we have that cool background galaxy effect. And it moves as I move my mouse over it. Very good. And one thing that I want to show is that if you don't pin it to the top, you will have scrolling. So I'll go to File, Preview Page, and Browser. So everything looks good there. But if we scroll, we have this black space here at the bottom. So you just want to make sure that you pin it to the top and center right over here using the pin uh, tool. Very good. So that's pretty much it. Um, so I'll go to, again, File, Preview Page, and Browser. So there we have the effect. And now I'll go to the Widget Options by clicking the blue circle with the arrow. And here we can change the star color. We can change the gradient one color, gradient two, gradient three, and gradient four color. We can change all these colors here. And here in Global Composite Mode, you have the option between lighter and normal. Uh, when you're dealing with lighter uh, stars, you can select lighter. So if your stars are like white and you have a darker background, uh, you can choose lighter. But let's say you wanted a kind of white background or a lighter background and darker stars, you would select normal. So as an example, uh, for here I'm going to select normal, or actually I'll select lighter for now. And then I'm going to change the star color to, to black. And the gradient, I'm going to make all the background white. Very good. And now I'll go to File, Preview Page, and Browser. And we, we see we don't see anything. That's because we have the global composite mode set to lighter. 
Uh, for lighter stars or white stars, or excuse me, or uh, for black stars, we want to select the global composite mode normal. Very good. So now I'll go to file, preview page in browser, and now we can see the stars there. Very nice. And again, if it, if it was lighter stars, you just select lighter for the global composite mode. And you can also select the cursor type. So let's say I select uh, like uh, progress for the cursor type. You can select from 20 different cursor types, over 20 different cursor types here. Or you can select an image for a cursor. So right now I've selected the progress cursor. So I'll go to file, preview page in browser. And we can see I have that progress cursor there for the background. Uh, probably not the best cursor for this because nothing's really loading, but you can see that you can change the cursor. So I can change it to anything else like um, uh, like text and file preview page in browser. And now I have a text cursor. So just uh, some fun things you can do there to change the cursor. Or you can select an image for the cursor. So if I select add file, I have an image here, um, and the image has to be 128 pixels by 128 pixels or less, otherwise it won't detect that there's an image for the cursor. So I have this 128 pixels by 128 pixels muse for You logo, so I'll just double click. And now I'll go to File, Preview Page in Browser, and I have the muse for You logo as a cursor. And it still has the same effect on the interactive background there and the stars. Very good. So now I'm going to change a few of the options and the colors here. I'm going to make the stars white and I'm going to change the gradient color here. Let's say to orange and I'll do black here and black here and orange here. Very good. And now I'll, I'll go to file preview page in browser and we can see we can change the grade, the background color uh, of the effect there. And I can even add more. Let's say I wanted more orange. I could just kind of select more orange there and I'll go to file preview page in browser and now we have more orange or I can invert it let's say I want uh, kind of more black here we'll select the uh, orange or the slider orange here and then I'll do black like that very good so as you can see everything is really customizable so there we have more orange and kind of uh, orange and black there and the stars are white and they move as we move our cursor very good. So that's pretty much it for this effect. Uh, again, to access this widget, you go to muse, museforyoushop.com. You click on Shop Now, and you can subscribe for $39 a year, or you can click here to subscribe with PayPal, and you get access to all the widgets and any new widgets I come out with, or you can purchase individually by clicking the Galaxy Effect widget, and you can click Add to Cart to purchase individually, or again, you can subscribe for $39 a year and get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with. Very good. So that's pretty much it for this video tutorial. Again, I do this to help you build awesome, awesome websites without code. If you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the Show More section, if you click on Show More, are links to other resources and links to other widgets as well uh, in, the, in the Show More section. And you can also visit museforyoushop.com. Again, thanks for watching. And again, I do this to help you build awesome websites without code. And I'll see you in the next video tutorial.